In this video, we are going to learn to script Google Maps coordinates, meaning the latitude and longitude. There are two ways of doing this. You can script coordinates at the same time as you extract the over Google Maps data, or you can use Google Maps data to extract coordinates. This is known as data enrichment. And it's this second method that we are going to discuss here. Why? Because it's easier to switch from the second method to the first, then from the first to the second. We will see that, depending on the quality of our input, we can achieve more or less good results. Before we get started, if you would like to discover the optimal solution for scraping Google Maps, you can visit scrap.io. We will talk about it later on. The first method we are going to use is the address. You have probably a list of addresses and the aim is to insert them one by one into the Google Maps input. So we make a Google Maps search, we should end up with a Google Maps detail page and based on this detail page, we should be able to extract Google Maps coordinates. To do it, I'm going to use Octopus. I type my URL, which is google.com slash maps. So far it's in French, it's because my brother is in French, but no worries, I turn on my browse mode and I'm going to change the language for you. Here we go, I turn off my browse mode, I select the search Google Maps text, very important, I checked that I'm also selecting an input format, which is the case, and I enter a text. Let's take the first one as an example, text box one, confirm, perfect. I adjust the settings and I hit the enter return key when finish entering. I load with Ajax as well. I click on apply and I should be able to reach the detail page. What to do then? We have said that we have to extract data to extract Google Maps coordinates. But where are they located exactly? Because based on what I see, coordinates are nowhere. But the point is, we should then take a look at the detail page. We should take a look at the Google Maps URL. And here is the latitude. And here is the longitude. So we extract the URL and we split it up. So. I click and ask custom field, page level data and page URL. Uh, let's say I do that twice. This one is the latitude and that one is the longitude. To modify my text, I click on more, clean data, add step and match with regular expression. In other words, we are going to write a regex. It's pretty difficult to explain the whole thing related to regex in two minutes. So let's just say that the purpose of a regex is to help you to identify some patterns within a text. For example, I know that the latitude starts with an at and ends with a comma, generate match and I've got my latitude. Apply, confirm, unapply and same thing with my longitude, clean data, at step, match with regular expression. It is located between two commas here and here. Start with, end with, comma, comma, generate, match and I've got my longitude. Finally, I adjust the settings one more time. A five seconds timeout should be good. All that remains to do is to run my task. Not so fast. Before that, I have to make sure that the pop-up we had at the beginning won't appear anymore. So I have to use the cookies. Use cookie, use cookie from the current page and I click on apply. And that time, it should work. It did work. What we do now? Obviously, we have to customize our script by adding a loop. For sure, we can extract coordinates two by two, but it doesn't really come in handy. Once we have done that, congratulations, we have a valid script. Or almost. Don't get me wrong, if you use the address as an input, it does work in some cases. Actually, it's not an optimal solution because when you enter an address, within the Google Maps input, you will end up with one of the two following options. Number one, you end up with a detail page. In that case, no problem. It implies that one address is equal to a specific location. So we are perfectly able to extract Google Maps coordinates. But option number two, if when you enter an address, you end up with two locations or more, in other words, you end up with 
a list. In that case, you will get your coordinates wrong they won't be accurate. This is why it's not an optimal solution. If really you have to make use of addresses as an input, please at least make sure that your address is as accurate as possible. You can make your address more specific by using a concatenation formula on Excel. But rather than using addresses as inputs, we would rather focus on place IDs. The use of the place ID seems much more relevant. Whereas the use of an address may lead us to multiple locations, the use of a place ID is always related to a single location, to a single place. And to find out the coordinates based on the place ID, we have to use the Google Maps API, or to be much more specific, the geocoding API. I'm not a developer, fortunately it's not that difficult. We will have to import request to write a bit of code, and we insert this kind of URL. Then we replace output format by JSON, and the word parameters by two parameters. The first one is our place ID, and the second one is our API key. And that will be our first task. We are going to create an API key. To do that, I go to console.cloud.google.com and I create a project. Select a project, new project. I give a name to my project and I click on create. It will take a few seconds at most and I select a project. Then I have to set up my API. I have to enable it. I go to API on services and library. I type geocoding API. Here is the related API. I click on it and I click on enable. And here is my API key. Please note that if it's not done already, you also have to create a billing account because this Google Maps API is a paid API. Let's save this API key somewhere else and we will use it later on. If I want to take a look at my API key one more time, I go to keys and credentials and here it is. All right, let's type our code. First of all, I import requests and JSON and I'm going to do a request.get or requests.get there it is. And I change the output format by JSON and parameters by place ID is equal. And I copy and paste one place ID and key is equal to my key. Everything sounds good. We have a status code of 200, which means everything is correct. And if I type air dot JSON, I have the latitude and the longitude. We should be located here, latitude and longitude. If I want to script these data within my JSON file, I can do something like this. To begin with, let's create a variable, data, and I select the keys one by one. The first key is results, data results. Then it is geometry, geometry. I have to add an index, so results zero. Then location. And then LAT. There we go. LAT. I have scraped the latitude and I might be able to get the longitude. LNG, LNG, LNG. The good news is that this method actually works. And we can bet that if we have inserted multiple place IDs, we could have achieved a more accurate result than with the first method. However, our script is not over yet. We have scraped a JSON file, but maybe we want to save this result into a CSV or an Excel file. In that case, we have to use another library like Pandas. And even more important, we have to create a loop in order to make sure we can insert multiple place IDs at the same time. But if it was the only problem, it would have been fine. It's just a little bit more work, but we could have managed it. No, the real problem lies within the fact that a place ID is something really difficult to scrape. Of course, we can find some techniques to find one place ID at a time, but let's be honest here, it's not really a suitable solution. So what choices do we have? We can pick up an address, which is easy to scrape, but not very accurate. We can pick up a place ID, which is very accurate, but not easy to scrape. So what else? Well, we can pick up a third kind of input, which are data such as the website URL, phone numbers or email addresses. Actually, we can use 
four different fields, the website, but also the domain name and phone numbers and email addresses. The purpose is the following. Based on these data, we will be able to enrich it by retrieving every Google Maps data field, as long as there is a Google Maps detailed page, of course. The problem here is that we cannot use the Google Maps API. So what we can do instead is to use Scrap.io. Scrap.io is the ultimate solution for scraping Google Maps. By specifying a category and a location, we might be able to gather thousands of leads within a couple of clicks. And finally, we can get a CSV or Excel file. And when I say that you can get all of these data fields within a couple of clicks, it is literally speaking. By clicking the link in the description and creating your account, you can get your first 100 leads free of charge. And the good news is that by subscribing to Scrub.io, you can also make use of our API. We have imported requests on JSON. Then I have to check the API of Scrub.io. I scroll down a little bit. Here it is. I click on GMAPs and Enrich. I make sure that I am located within the Python tab and I copy and paste my code. And we are going to customize it a little bit. The URL remains the same. The parameters, let's change domain to URL and I insert a specific URL. There we are. I also want to add another parameter, which is per page is equal to one. Why? Because I expect to get a specific result, not 10 results or 25 results. So per page is equal to one. The authorization, very simple. I change the XXXXX by my API key. Let's create our API key. I come back to scrub.io and I click on my dashboard. Then I click on my profile and security. I click on API keys and I create my API key. Create and here is my API key. I copy and paste it as simple as that. And I simply change the JSON variable to a data variable. So data, I've got uh, something. Where are the coordinates? They are here, location latitude and location longitude. So data, data and then location latitude location latitude uh, data zero perfect lat longitude which should be location longitude and here it is the third kind of input is probably the best one. On the one hand, it is something that we can easily scrape, at least for the website URL and the phone number, because the email address can only be found based on the website URL. And at the same time, there are accurate data fields, meaning each URL, each phone number, and each email address is related to a single location, to a single company. Now, all we have to do is to improve our script a little bit by creating a loop. Then we'll be able to insert as many website URL as possible in order to find out Google Maps coordinates. This is the end of the video. I hope you have enjoyed it. If it's the case, you can give a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And if you have any questions regarding Scrub.io, you can ask them in the comments or you can directly contact our customer support. The end.